Hello, beloved. Welcome back to my channel. For those who know me, I am Journey Divine. If you are here for the first time, welcome, welcome. Hello, my A1 Day 1 supporters. All welcome in. The vibe is high. We are feeling good today. We are in the land of the living still. We are breathing. We are thriving. We are shedding, transforming. The weather is beginning to shift, to change. Spring fertility is on the way. That was confirmation. This reading will be for my water, mermaids, my Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio seeds. February full predictions, full exposure, full confirmation and warnings if necessary. Take what resonates. If it don't apply, let it fly. Leave the rest. For who we do. How you doing, beloved? I hope that the day has brought you some peace and joy and happiness and you're winding down, getting ready to relax, to tap in, to enjoy your reading. Please hit that like button. Tap it, tap it, tap it. Go ahead and do it now. Why not? Get it in. Subscribe and join the family if you have not. Share the video and please leave a wonderful, warm, positive comment. Keep your girl moving, pushing through. I am you, you are me. Water heavy in my chart. I feel you, okay, Pisces. It is flying out. Someone is desperate to speak. Someone is desperate to speak, Pisces. We're going to see what's going on in your energy. Because... We have the higher font, a higher level of commitment. This is the student learning, training, elevating, shedding. This is the ancestors stepping in, offering you guidance and support. You've been through some challenging times, a lot of conflict, maybe in a family setting, a relationship, family, disagreements, arguments, a war going on. It has to do with your money, has to do with your independence, has to do with your building financial security. With the Queen of Pentacles coming out with the Hierophant, you are in the business of spirituality. Somehow you offer spiritual work to others. You are gifted. And people are fighting against you elevating and becoming wealthy and independent. Four of Cups, but you're simply over the drama. February brings in a sweet release. Letting go. Feeling, uh, feeling the need to hold it all together. Feeling the need to defend yourself. Feeling the need to get involved in what doesn't serve you in your highest good. Giving it to God, you've given up the war. You're simply moving on past that energy. Yeah, moving on past the drama, the gossip, the lies, the enemies, the imposters. Focusing on your business, your independence, your stability, Capricorn energy. You could have Capricorn in your 10th house. You have Capricorn as your part of fortune. You're building wealth. You're building your own achievements. And because you are a spiritualist and you serve a higher power, you're going to face some backlash. That flu, please hold on.
Okay, I thought I paused it, but whatever. <coughs> Spirit wants to speak. This is what you're building. The Nine of Pentacles is slow moving. Often comes with a little bit of frustration, a little bit of worry, expecting and waiting for growth, to see growth, to expand, to be financially secure, but you've been working on something and it's coming in. Once it comes in, the Knight of Pentacles is long term. It sticks, it stays. It's slow and steady wins the race. It's trust the process. It's trusting and knowing that there's no shortcuts to spirituality. Yeah, you've been in hermit mode for some time, secluded, going within, doing the work, trying to figure it out, your next steps, what you should do, how you should do it. You've been juggling a lot, doing a balancing act. You could be a single mom. You could take care of a lot and be responsible for a lot. And here you are looking at all your obligations, your responsibilities, all that must be taken care of. But you've already done the work. You're doing the work. And you're waiting in anticipation to see some kind of growth, some kind of movement, some kind of progress. And the reason why you maybe haven't seen it as fast as it could be is because of all this conflict that has been thrown your way. This could be family. This could be friends. This could be jealous or envious people in your same community or line of work. Yeah. Right now, you may be in a cloudy, dry season. A little confused, unsure. But this is you need to tap into your intuition to see things as they truly are. See yourself in this energy. We've got Taurus on the board. We've got Capricorn. We got Virgo. We've got Pisces. Any of these energies that have been the reason why you've been delayed. Any of these energies could need you reevaluating your allies and your friend zone. Any of these energies could have caused distractions intentionally. Didn't want to see you level up, move on without them. This higher level of commitment, this could be a ex, a person of interest. you definitely have an offer coming in that will bring growth and offer you some insight as to your situation long term. Yeah. Some of you have been very worried. Going through periods of anxiety. Borrowing from Peter Pay Paul. Trying to hold it all together. Sleepless nights, up working late, trying to figure it out, hustling. With the Queen of Pentacles, you could own your own business, your own project, you doing your own thing, trying to go solo, but seeing slow returns for your work. And Spirit says, 
That's a hell yeah confirmation. So that is the true truth for someone watching. But look what comes in for the rescue. An exchange, a gift, an offering. Something to come in to offer you some help, some support, some stability. Yeah. And pops the best card in the tarot deck. It would lead to the sun. Sun is balance, peace, harmony, joy returned, growth, seeing things from the brighter side, having the strength to overcome this dry season. Because there is a king of cups. There is a king of cups. Masculine energy. Grounding his emotions. Loving, caring, kind. Giving. Approaching. Approaching. Quickly. Rushing in. Willing to go for at all costs. For some of you who have who are standing in this Queen of Pentacles energy, who are defeating and blocking out all energies that fight against your stability, you've been juggling a lot, holding it all together, working all through the night, going within to find out how to level up. You will be receiving an exchange, a gift, an offering. It will bring you some peace. And some joy, some balance restored. This could be from a king of cups. This could be a past energy as well. Was missing you, regretting, letting you go. Has gone within and realized and discovered that you are what they desire. They want to come forward and communicate the truth of how they feel to you. This person could be getting up the courage to come through in February. This person could be over fighting against you, fighting with you, battling a war that has not manifested their desire. This could be a high level of commitment that you win. It could have been a marriage. But you're always on edge about this relationship, never knowing where it was really going because your person may have juggled you with other options. They may have been working together with other people. But now this person, after regretting ghosting you, wants to come forward to rekindle. Yeah. Your ex. This king of swords that spoke against you on your name. Someone that you've been in considering divorcing or have divorced. This person thinking about all the dreams and all the things that they wish for you and them that never had a chance to manifest. They are stuck in nostalgia in the past. Constantly meditating on that connection with you that is over now. And has ended. You're focusing on your independence. Focusing on your business. Your entrepreneurship. This person is focused on you. February brings. Like most signs. If not all that I've done. Someone is coming back. Someone is making a U-turn. Someone can get you off their mind. Someone is in regret over your discommunication, your disconnection with this person. Let's get some confirmation from another deck before we go to financial messages for February. Matters of love. You've got somebody from the past coming in to rekindle. You've also got a gift of support, some kind of monetary 
increase coming in. Could be from this person to help you balance out your finances if you've been struggling. You could have a children with this a child or children with this person. This could come in the, as support, child support, some kind of money. But this person is reg regretting the way things ended. This person knows they worked against you with other people to keep you in lack. Keep you from moving on to the next. Keep you confused and struggling. Could be them, their family, them, their friends, them and your family and your friends. The way you war against you. Simply when you want to just go your own way and do your own thing. Because you found spirituality and you're elevating. Do we have confirmation, spirit? Confirmation for this reading from my wonderful water signs. My Pisces, my Cancer, my Scorpio, my emotional beings, my fluid, fluid ones. We've got Nine of Pentacles again. So you definitely got something moving towards you. Definitely some, some growth, some prosperity, some money, some finance moving towards you. Maybe not going at speed you would like, but it is coming in. Patience is needed because guess what? It's going to lead you to the Ten of Pentacles. Which means something you've done, something you work on, a career, a business, a project, something you put your energy into, your spiritual energy, that inner work. It's been slow moving, dripping. Little bit here, little bit there. Donations, purchases, gifts, whatever, however you receive. But you're about to get a major increase because you're going from nine of pentacles to the ten. Ten of pentacles is a windfall. Ten of, pen ten of pentacles is spiritual inheritance. Ten of pentacles is hitting lottery is a gift. Fulfillment. You're going from poverty to rich. You're going from worry to never ever having to know how you're going to pay a bill or when you'll be able to pay it. Now for some of you, for some of you, this gift is coming from your father. This gift could be coming from your father, a grand lump sum of money with taxis in here. It could be you getting and receiving something from the IRS that is due you from your father or from your ex. Someone could be just using their surplus they get to offer you some help. If you had disagreement challenges with your father in the past, Father is thinking about you, remembering the good times, the old days, and wants to reconnect. Any more confirmation, Spirit? Any more confirmation before I go to finances? Because we love to hear about money, don't we? <laughs> Especially my Scorpios. Uh huh. My high priestesses already know it's coming. They manifest. But those Scorpios, hard working, go get in the mud. Cancer too. Cancer governs the home, the family, the providers. Okay, I think that's enough for the tarot. If you're ending with Ten of Pentacles, I don't really know how much better it can get, but I'll pull your Financial cards, this is my financial freedom oracle deck. If you'd like to purchase it, 
You can go to website in the box below or send me an email and I'll send you the link. Support the channel. Learn to channel for yourself. Give yourself clarity in matters of finance, money, and growth. Business matters. Contracts, partnerships. When it's coming, how it will come, and what you should do to help it move a little faster. So if you're interested, get your financial freedom deck or gift another for Valentine's Day or for anniversary for a business partner. If you're a reader, you can use it with reading for your clients, matters of money specifically. Yes? It's made by me, but it's a wonderful deck. So, pat myself on the back for that. Okay, Spirit, what's up for water signs February? Matters of money. Uh oh. Come on now. Somebody's getting the keys to a new home. Somebody's moving, relocating, getting that loan. Come on now. Ten of Pentacles. Enough to buy and purchase a home to move to a better apartment or living environment. Emperor, boss energy, bossing up, overflow of cash, business owner, leader, you controlling, you leading, your kingdom, your queendom, Aries energy, not taking no for an answer. For some of you, your king of cups may be an Aries. It's not a water sign. They could be offering you this gift. Could be keys to a home. We have roots. Planting roots. Roots in a new home. A new state. A new city. A new country. Planting roots that will grow. That can also be a new family coming your way. Yeah. Be grateful for the small winds. Because as cactuses hold water for a rainy day, they are self-sufficient. Money that was coming slow is building. It's being stored up. Is growing. Put away some for a rainy day. Save some for a rainy day. Rainy days will come again. Make sure you invest. Make sure you invest. This is the card of investing, planting new seeds, investing in something that will is destined to grow. Your business is destined to grow. As long as you step into your real purpose. Stay on your purpose, on your path. Use it to manifest your dreams, your wealth, your progress, your prosperity. But February is about planting seeds that will grow. And you will flourish. Keep diving deep. There's our water energy. Diving deep. Go when no man is willing to go or has gone before. Take the leap. Jump in. Don't be afraid. For some of you, this blessing, this home, this financial windfall is coming in the form of a spiritual inheritance. For some of you, you may be experiencing this as a real inheritance through someone passing. If so, my condolences. This is the, sex, the second element. That this card has come out. Ancestral veneration is every day. Give gratitude for when the winds come. Do not forget where you came from. Give gratitude and give thanks to your ancestors. Visit a grave. Put some flowers. If you know where they are. Because they are the ones gifting you with this financial abundance and freedom. 
Maybe you speak to your ancestors. Maybe you are in touch with them, in tune with them. Yeah, go. Have you mapped out your steps? When all this comes in, are you ready to make a move? Do you have a plan? What is the goal? Where do you want to move? Where are we going to go? Are you buying a home, mobile, modular? Are you building? Are you... What is the plan? And with the plan and the goal being hidden in black, move in silence, my love. Do not tell everyone. Everyone is not happy for you. Remember, you've already gone through this. Speak less. Okay, what are signs? That is your February reading. I see growth. I see progress. I see a windfall. I see gifts. I see exchanges of money, of finance. I see a new home. I see relocation. I see a business owner, business growing. I see you being happy, living in harmony, in a place that you deserve to be in with whoever you want to be in it. But you do have an ex in your energy, regretting, letting you go, because now you're bossing up and they see you. You could have a platform, but either way, they want to come through and have a conversation, and it's going to be up to you what you decide. Are you moving on? Are they going with you? Are you going alone? Or maybe they're offering this gift, and will you accept it? And move on. Or will you stay independent and work with spirit and trust in your own plan? Set some goals. Stay ready so you ain't got to get ready is the lesson here. Same thing for my fire signs. Seems like we're coming into spring fertility and the message is stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. And that's for everyone. Move in silence. Expect newness. New beginnings. Expect endings to return. Expect the unexpected and be ready for whatever it is going to be. You got this because you show up as the boss, emperor, the leader. So drive that chariot wherever you need to be. And only allow those to ride with you who have been there through the storm. Yes? All right. Oh. I almost forgot your soul's journey card. I'm so sorry, water signs. Hey, water signs. That's my daughter, y'all. <laughs> but I forgot to tap off your reading with some cards from your soul's journey. This is to tell you what energy you need to be in to get the win. What you should focus on, what's coming in, what you will be feeling, and how you should move. For this part of the reading is so important. Many already tapped off and this is the part you really need. Because all the rest is gravy, but this is the ingredients for the main dish. So what is our soul's journey for my water sign spirit? Three cards for my water sign. First, cut off friendship. Friendship, I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. Let's support in. Let people help you. There are people that want to give to you, but you have to be open and willing to accept it without being paranoid about why they're gifting you. Spirit will send you support. You have to be open to receiving. Use your intuition. If it gives without asking, it's a gift. That's how you know. Balance. I bring a state of perfect balance and harmony into my world. And I do so without judgment, which means you live on your own terms. And everyone around you knows that to be around you, your terms have to be respected. That's how, that's setting healthy boundaries. But not erecting walls that cannot be perseverance, pushing through the storm, believing, holding our faith, giving up the worry, giving up the anxiety, trusting and knowing Imagination is your final card. You're the magician. What do you imagine? What do you see? What do you believe? All is driven by your vision. February, all is driven by your vision. I embrace 
and nourish the creative aspects of my soul. It's time to manifest and create. Start that platform. Start that project. That collaboration. Put out that music. Do that art. Whatever it is that you need to push through on, you need to go hard. The time is now. Spring is almost here and you need to have seeds planted. So let's plant and get in gear. Yes? That is your reading. Go ahead, tap that like up, thumbs up if you have not. Sure you have. If you're still here, I know you have liked the video. It has resonated with you. You took your takeaway. If you need more information, book a personal reading with me for more clarity. Everything you need to know is in the box below. Please subscribe and join the family. Comment. Come back again. Share it with a friend. But from my ward energies, my emotional beings, it's all about you in February, my friend. You're the priority. So put yourself at the top of your list. It's not time to be empathetic. It's time to receive. You've given more than you know. It's time for you to be blessed with overflow. So I wish you all love, peace, and happiness. A continued soul awakening. Stay grounded. Stay protected. Until we meet again, my friend. Ashe.